convince somebody that if 5x minus 3 is even, or sorry, that 5x minus 3 is even if and only if x is odd. So two different arguments to do here. One is forward direction and one is going to be backwards direction. In our discussion, let's begin with the backwards direction because we get to start with x is odd. So what does it mean if x is odd? That would mean that x is equal to 2k plus 1 for some integer k. Then, what is 5x minus 3? 5x minus 3 would be equal to 2, sorry, it would not be equal to 2, it would be equal to 5 times 2k plus 1, because that's what x is, minus 3, that's 10k plus 5 minus 3, that's equal to 10k plus 2, and notice that there is a 2 that will factor out of there, and so we get 2 times an integer. 2 times an integer means that this is definitely even. So 5x minus 3 is even. That establishes a forward direction. Sorry, a backward direction. For a forward direction, the forward direction would have to require assuming 5x minus 3 is even and hoping that we can somehow isolate the x. But notice when we do that, let's see, 5x equals 2k plus 3, x equals 2k plus 3 over 5, and that's not looking very cute for us here. I don't think we'll be able to establish that x is odd in any kind of simple way here. So instead of approaching the forward direction directly, let's do the forward direction by contrapositive. So the contrapositive would mean that we're trying to show 5x minus 3 is even implies x is odd and contrapositive means that instead of doing that we'll try to show that if x is not odd in other words if it were even then hopefully 5x minus 3 will be not even but will be odd. How would that approach or how would that go? Let's see x equals 2k then 5x minus 3 would be equal to 5 times 2k minus 3. That's 10k minus 3. And I would be hoping to show that this is odd. So I'm hoping to get a plus 1 on the end here. How can I do that? Let's see, 10k minus 3. I'm not going to affect the 10k, but I'll put a plus 1 right here. And then since it has a minus 3 and I need to keep that minus 3, I guess I'll write that as a minus 4, because minus 4 plus 1 is the same as minus 3. And then, oh, there it is. can factor out a 2. And notice that we have 2 times an integer plus 1, which establishes that 5x minus 3 is odd. So we now have a forward direction by contrapositive, and we have a backward direction that can be done directly. So why don't you pause the video right now and see if you can complete this proof on your own formally. And assuming you gave it a good shot here, let's do it together. 5x minus 3 is even if and only if x is odd. In my proof, I will tell the reader of my proof that I'm going to go backwards first. Suppose that x is odd. Then x is equal to 2k plus 1 for some integer k. Some integer k. Then 5x minus 3 would be equal to 5 times 2k plus 1 minus 3. Based on our discussion, we already simplified this to 10k plus 5 minus 3 plus 5 minus 3 is plus 2, and that's equal to 2 times 5k plus 1. Since 5k plus 1 is an integer, we see that 5x minus 3 is even, because it's 2 times an integer. Okay, forward direction. We told the reader we're going to go forward direction. I'm also going to tell my reader that we will proceed by contraposition. By contraposition, 
assume we're going to assume the negation of the consequence. So if we're going forwards, forwards is x is odd is my consequence. So we'll assume that x is even. In other words, in other words, x is equal to 2k for some integer k. Then, 5x minus 3 would be equal to 10k minus 3. We saw this in our discussion. This is the same as 2 times 5k minus 2, that would be minus 4, plus 1. And so, since 5k minus 2 is an integer, we see that 5x minus 3 is odd. And this is okay because by contrapositive we do want the negation of the antecedent. So these two parts together, first part direct, second part being by contrapositive, establish the biconditional claim.